boys and girls, we're working with this letter this week. Do you remember what letter that is? This is the letter V. Okay, we have our capital V and our lowercase v. Remember the letter V makes this sound. Can you make that sound? Like in violin and vest. Remember vest is like a jacket without sleeves. This is a vest. And yesterday we read this book called Victor the Vulture. And vulture also begins with the letter V. So does valentine and vase and uh, victory. So this is Victor the Vulture. V is for vulture, v, v, v. V is for vulture, v, v, v. And something else that begins with the letter V is a vase. A vase is something that you would put flowers in. Okay, so this is a vase. And on the bottom we have our capital V and our lowercase v. So when we're going to, what we're going to do is uh, take a crayon and we're going to start at the black dot. Let's first take our finger. We're going to go down and up. Okay. Start the lowercase one the same way. Start the black dot. Go down and up. Okay. So take your crayon and we're going to first trace our letter V. It says V is for vase. And remember the letter V makes the V sound. So let's take your crayon. We're going to start at the black dot and we're going to slant down and up right on those dotted lines. Okay, we're going to do the lowercase one the same way. Start the black dot, slant down and up. Okay, V is for vase. Now what we're going to do here, we have our capital V and our lowercase v, and they are both hiding in the vase. So we're going to be looking for both the capital V and the lowercase v. The capital V is the big one, the lowercase v is the small one. Now if you have daughters, take two different color dotters. If you don't have dotters, then take two different color crayons. Okay, you can use any two that you want. I'm going to use purple and orange today. You could use whichever two you want, okay? First, I'm gonna find the capital V's. Remember, the capital V's are all of the big ones. So we're going to, if you have a dotter, you're just gonna put one spot on each one. And if you don't, if you have a crayon, you can just color in each spot one at a time. So let's look at the V's. Let's start at the top. And here is a big one or a capital one. So we're going to put a dot on there. Okay, come down again. Here's another big one or another capital V. Okay, everywhere that you see a capital V or a big one, make that with one color. Okay, find all of the big ones, all of the capital V's. And we're going to put one spot on there. Or like I said, if you have a crayon instead, just color in the little space. Okay, there's another one. We'll keep looking for more. Here's one. Here's one. Okay, here's another big one. And there's one more. All right, let's go back now. We're going to count and see how many big or capital V's we found. Okay, count with me. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So those are twelve capital V's. Now take your other color, whether it's your crayon or your daughter, okay, and we're going to go back and find all of the small V's, all of the lowercase V's. Okay, and again, you're going to do one spot on each one. Find all of the lowercase v's. Okay, these are all the small ones. These are all of the lowercase v's. Okay. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Okay, here we see another small one or another lowercase v. And let's go back now and we'll count and see how many lowercase v's we found. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have 12 capital V's and 12 lowercase v's. All right, so that's a vase. And a vase is something you put flowers in. 
And right now what we're going to do also is we have this other paper. This says a vase for Vicky. And again, on this paper, we're going to be tracing our capital and lowercase v. So take your crayon again, okay, starting at the black dot at the top. First, we're going to go very carefully, trace right on those dotted lines. Slant to the bottom and up. Okay, one more time for the lowercase v. Start at the black dot. We're going to go down and up. Now at the top where it says a vase for Vicky, we need to try to find our letter V, right? We're looking for either the capital V or the lowercase V. And what we're gonna do, we're going to just circle that one letter, okay? So let's look across. And here we see a V, is it a capital V or a lowercase V? Right, it's the lowercase V, it's the little one. So very carefully, just circle that little V, that lowercase V, and let's go across again. And here we see another V. What kind is that? Is that the capital V or the lowercase? The capital V, right. So because we always use a capital letter for someone's name. So it says a vase for Vicky. And then you can go back and you can color in your flowers. Okay, you can color in your flowers on your vase. You can color them whatever way you want. You can color your flowers. You can color the vase. Make it all pretty colors. Okay, however you want to do that is fine. Whatever way you want to do it. Okay, a vase for Vicky. Okay. Any colors you want. The important thing is that you just look at your paper and stay in your lines. Okay, so here we have our letter V, a vase for Vicky. Now in a little bit, we're going to be making a craft with a vase. Okay, I'll be back in a couple of minutes for that.